Hey guys, what's up? My name is Sonali. Today I'm going to be doing a massive collective haul. Since back to school season, I've been kind of like shopping here and there for clothes, beauty products. I mean, Sephora just had their VIB sale. So I got a plethora of things from a few different stores. So today I'm going to show you guys what all I got. So to start off this video, I want to do a little unboxing of a bag that I received in the mail. It is from Teddy Blake. So I have been patiently waiting to open this bag on camera. So let's dig in. All right, let's see it. Ooh, ooh, I just can feel like how nice, like, I mean, like, look at it. It looks beautiful. As you guys know, if you watch my vlogs, I went to Italy this summer to study abroad for two weeks and I bought an Italian bag and unfortunately it broke and I was like so upset. But literally like maybe a couple weeks later, Teddy Blake reached out to me and said they wanted to send me a bag and I found out they were Italian bags and I was ecstatic. So this is the bag that I got. It is beautiful. This is how big it is compared to my head. It has this like cool little lock so just like twist it and then I guess this thing comes out. Maybe I, okay I got it. Kind of low-key confused. All right figuring it out as we go. Um, this is definitely a purse to take to like anywhere that gets pickpocketed easily because it's pretty much like a dang walk on this purse. It's really cool, but okay. All right. Ooh, how fancy. Okay, so it comes with this. Let's see. It's just like a bag for your bag. Very nice and bougie. And then it also comes with a leather strap to make it crossbody. I think it's so bougie when people just carry their handbags like this, but I'm the type of person that always like needs my hands to be empty because I'm always doing something so this will definitely come in handy. I'm 100% gonna put this on because you can wear it both ways. I'm not gonna lie, this is probably like the nicest handbag I've ever had. Like this is just so high quality. It literally smells like the leather stores in Italy. It's bringing back such good memories. Now I definitely need to go shopping for some bougie outfits to match this bag. Honestly, I definitely rather have a big bag because I bring like my camera, my vlog camera everywhere I go. So it's just nice to have so much room for like everything you ever need. If you guys are interested in this bag or any of the other Teddy Blake bags, definitely go in the description below. I'll have a link to their website and the specific bag. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about this bag. Are you guys more of a small bag person or like a big bag person like me? Also, thank you to Teddy Blake for sending me this. It's honestly even more beautiful in person. I love it. So now I want to talk beauty. If you guys are a beauty insider, VIB, VIB Rouge, you guys know that the big Sephora sale was just a couple of weeks ago. And honestly, I was really trying not to spend money, but like literally it's a trigger word to hear like Sephora VIB sale because then I start thinking of all the things I need at Sephora and then make a big purchase and end up with just... A lot of makeup but I love everything I got I actually haven't tried out half the things I got because they're all like face masks so my sister is super into skincare she has been telling me about these dr. Jart face masks for so long now and to be honest I buy a lot of my sheet masks on Amazon because they come in a really big bundle and they're pretty affordable um, but these are I think $12 each and so I decided to, you know, try them out during the Sephora VIB sale. I got the Rubber Mask Bright Lover, and then I also got the Hydration Lover. And she says these, like, change your skin. So I'm very excited to try them. I've been waiting to use them to do this haul. I know that's, like, kind of silly, but I wanted to show you guys, so now I can dive right in. I also got some of just their regular sheet masks. So these are also from Dr. Jart. I got the water replenishment, the brightening solution, and the soothing hydra solution. So as you can tell, my skin is super dry. It always needs as much moisturization as possible. And then it's also kind of like uneven. I used to have eczema and still kind of do. So my skin's really blotchy. So anything that can like brighten it, even it out, hydrate, I love. So I'm very excited to try these masks. Follow me on Instagram because I'll probably keep you guys updated on how I feel about them over on my Instagram stories. So if you guys want to follow me, the link will be in the description below. 
So I feel like the older we get, the more we care about skincare. So pretty much half of what I got at the Sephora sale was skincare. So let's start with this one. This is a very popular one. You guys probably have guessed it, but I did cave and get the Summer Fridays mask. I don't really know how I feel about this. I don't know if it's like hyped up on Instagram or like if it's a really good product. I mean, obviously you see that I've used, you know, it two times, three times or something. I actually got a Sephora sample before it. I usually sleep with it on because I thought I heard you could do that but it will probably be better if I just like rinse it off 15 minutes later so I might try it that way next time but I mean the packaging is very cute and I definitely want to try the pumpkin scrub that they just launched because first of all I love pumpkin and second of all again they killed it with their packaging but I do want to wait till it comes in Sephora stores because then I can get a sample if you guys don't know you can get three samples Per customer when you go into a Sephora store. So there's no shame in getting your samples when you're going because that's how you try out products and that's how you get to like them and eventually buy them. So there's no shame in just sampling what you might want to try. So I recently just got a facial done at Spa Bar in Orlando. It's in the Waterford Lakes area if you guys are interested. Um, but I go to a girl named Molly Mann and she is so helpful. Like she gives me so much information about Skin, and I think I've gone only like four times but the last time I got a facial she saw like my scars because I have like a little bit of a scarring issue around here just because that's my problem area so she said vitamin C would be really good to break up the dark spots so right after my facial I went into Sephora because it's in the same area and I got um, this product right here it's from first aid beauty and it is the resurfacing liquid they said it was really good for just breaking up those dark spots like molly said so i've been using this pretty much every day for a week now she did say that results will come slowly and i'm very impatient so um i'm trying to like be consistent with this product and so far i've been pretty good with it. Next up, I got an exfoliating mask. This is the Cora Organics Turmeric Brightening and Exfoliating Mask. First of all, I love the packaging. It's gold and beautiful. And then second of all, it kind of reminds me of getting a facial in India. It literally just like reminds you of India in a tube. I really like this. It's very refreshing, like the smell of turmeric. And I love just scrubbing my face with this. I feel so, so clean. This is definitely my favorite exfoliating scrub I've ever used on my face because since it has turmeric in it, it brightens up my face. So it's like a two-in-one. It's amazing. So now moving into makeup, I splurged and got another eyeshadow palette, which I definitely did not need, but this one is amazing. It is the Sephora Pro Palette, and this is what it looks like. It has literally such stunning shades and i don't think i've ever spent this much on an eyeshadow palette i'm pretty sure it was like 68 dollars because usually i get like morphe eyeshadow palettes and then in the past i've gotten single potted shadows i've never splurged and got like a really nice eyeshadow palette and it is insane the difference and quality of really expensive ones first of all the packaging is so sleek and like nice very matte and, and then they have a full mirror on here um, and then just the colors are super super pretty. They are for every day You can have some for going out because they have these shimmers in it and they have the yellow which I've always wanted um, And so I think this is like a perfect palette for me I've been definitely using a lot of the neutral colors recently because I've been going to my internship nothing like really special I definitely saw videos um, maybe like a couple months back I don't really know when this came out, but I feel like this should be talked about more because I really really enjoy it my last product from Sephora is this baked eyeshadow from Laura Mercier. It is in the color terracotta and I just really love these like copper kind of tones like pinkish copper, brown, all of that sort of thing. I love just doing a brown smoky eye and then putting this on my lid. It's just like an easy and quick eye for just going out or an everyday look honestly. I've really been enjoying this color. I never really liked baked eyeshadows because I think I used to use like the e.l.f. ones and those aren't too great. But obviously Laura Mercier's price difference is a lot different so I would hope the quality matches up to it which it definitely does. Next I want to show you guys what I got from Amazon. I have recently been obsessed with these platform shoes and I got these off Amazon. I actually got them in the nude color as well but I definitely wear the black more. You guys have probably seen these in like a lot of my Instagrams because I literally wear it every single time I go out. I really don't think they were too expensive so I don't feel bad about getting them dirty when I go out 
not that I have really gotten them dirty. They're pretty clean for how much I've worn them already. Um, I will say that I did get blisters the first couple times I wore them, but I mean, that's kind of a given when you get new shoes. But I do recommend this so, so much. So I know we're going into fall, but I also bought some swimsuits on Amazon. You can't really see like the color of this, but it's like a bright orange. I'm pretty sure online it wasn't this bright from what I remember because I feel like I would not buy like a highlighter orange swimsuit but like you know it could look good on me i mean we'll just have to see when we try it on almost likely just insert a picture of the bathing suit picture on amazon my first impressions of the swimsuit it's definitely way better quality than zaffle <laughs> um hopefully it will fit my boobs i mean i think it will because that's like a lot of material but i know when i was buying from zaffle they were really really cute but they just did not fit my boobs like i would buy the largest that they had in every swimsuit and they just wouldn't fit so hopefully this will fit everything it's kind of just like a cutout in the middle um so it is a one piece but it kind of looks like a two piece from the front it's kind of cool the next one i got is this striped one it kind of reminds me of like those trendy rompers because it has like a little side tie right here it has like a low scoop in the back again i'm just going to insert a picture because that was just not helpful at all but again the quality is really good and those swimsuits definitely did not break the bank I'm also going to show you a couple of shirts that I got from Amazon. I'm starting with Amazon. This is one of the shirts I got. It says Killing It. I bought this shirt because I wanted to, you know, have a bunch of options for tailgate because I go to UCF and our colors are black and gold. This shirt is really yellow, but I thought this was going to be a comfy slouchy tee, but it actually is like an athletic kind of feel, like cotton, but like athletic also. I'd probably wear this on days that I'm just chilling at the house or just being lazy with some leggings. This is the second top I got from Amazon and I think it's so unique because it's a one shoulder crop top and again it's kind of like that really bright yellow color. I feel like this is definitely something I would wear to a tailgate. This top and I'm pretty sure the last t-shirt was like ten dollars or like under that so I highly recommend checking out Amazon fashion because you never know what you can find. This is the next top. It's actually from Plato's Closet. If you guys watch my vlogs and my videos, you guys know I'm obsessed with like all the Plato's Closets around UCF. The Oviedo and Waterford Lakes has such good options. And I don't know, I thought it was kind of cool, like very different from my style, but I always like trying different things out. But I really don't know what to style with it except for high-waisted pants. So let me know in the comments what you guys would style with this shirt. It doesn't really show off my figure, so I would like some tight bottoms, you know? So yeah, definitely let me know. You guys can like style me in the comments. So now I want to move into what I got from Fashion Nova. This is the first top that I got. It's just like a going out shirt, but I thought that this green color was really pretty. I don't really have much green in my closet. And I also feel like this color fits into like the going out night scene. So it's just like this halter kind of thing. It's like tied at the back and you can kind of like tie it as tight as you want. I'm currently being choked if I'm being honest. So I really need to find out how to wear this and like what bra I need to use. So I definitely need to play around with this a little bit more, but I think it's overall really cute. Next for Fashion Nova is this black just tank top. It's like a halter top. Um, I swear I thought it was a bodysuit, so I like put it on as if I was putting on a bodysuit. But it's just a really long tank top. I think it's super flattering. I really like the material of it, and I definitely think this is a basic for like college going out. Especially if you don't plan on going out, then you can just like throw something on. I think this top would be perfect with like some high-waisted black jeans. And I also got this camo skirt, and I've been wanting a camo skirt for so long now just because that's like the new trendy thing to get camo stuff. Up next, I'm definitely getting a camo hat. I definitely thought this camo skirt was going to be like more denim and like thicker, but it's definitely like a thin material. It's kind of like weird to explain, but I really like the fit. Like it fits really well. I got another one sleeve top. First of all, this top is super comfy. I wish it could just be like a normal long sleeve shirt because I would literally wear this every single day. It is so soft. But other than that, it's super cute because it has like this tie thing and a little bit of a cutout. So I feel like it has a lot going on, but it still looks pretty simple. The last thing I got from Fashion Nova is this cheerleader skirt. I've seen so many game day outfits kind of just based around this trend of wearing these cheerleader skirts. And I think it's super cute, but I feel like this one just like flares out. It's kind of like stiff, if that makes sense, because um, the material is kind of thick, but it is very, very comfortable. Like they have shorts underneath, so you will be, you know, covered 
during game day and stuff. I honestly think a black tube top would pair really well with this outfit. So I'm probably going to try that out. So that was it of the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And you guys know the drill. The links will be in the description below. So if you guys are interested in anything that I mentioned, check there. And also if you guys want to, follow me on my Instagram where you will be seeing me use these products and wearing these clothes. My handle is so underscore gnarly without the G. And I will see y'all in my next video. Bye guys. <laughs>